Hey, it's Mike. It's all religion dystopia, and uh, I'm gonna try to do another recording here on podcast. Hopefully, this time I will record. Anyway, it's been going through a lot, health wise, and everything else, and just life in general. So I hope you're all doing great. I'm just surviving, getting through the day. <laughs> all praise and glory go to you, Yahshua the Messiah, Jesus the Christ, the Lord God Almighty, came the flesh, paid for our sins, rose from the dead. Came back and fulfilled all things. Um, I'm going to get back to the reading of the uh, word. In John 13, we're now in. Let's see if this times it records. I tried a couple times recording it, and then I kind of just got distracted. You know, it's fascinating watching uh, myself and others uh, being uh, manipulated and uh through the thing that we call uh, social media, mass media. It's truly is a form of mind control and a source of witchcraft, I would say. And uh, so, I don't know, I need to anchor myself in something. So, the only thing that I found is absolutely, that I find it has any validity is Jesus. So, if you don't, I understand this is not for everybody. Maybe in the end of the day, this is just for me. Now, the beginning of John 13, chapter 13, verse 1. Now, before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of the world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the hearts of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he was come from God and went to God, he rises from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. And after that he poured water into a basin and began uh, to wash his disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? And Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. And Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. And Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter saith unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and feet and head, excuse me. And Jesus said unto him, he that washes needeth not saved. Let me try this again. He that washed needeth not save, save to wash his feet, but is clean ever wit. And ye are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him. Therefore he said, Ye are not all clean. So after he had washed his feet and taken his garments and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say well, for I so am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done unto you, or done to you, excuse me. Very the very I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye knew these things, happy, excuse me, if ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. I speak not of you all. 
I know whom I have chosen, but the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me hath lifted up his heel against me. That's a very interesting statement. He that eateth bread with me hath lifted up his heel against me. Now I tell you before it come that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth whomsoever I send receiveth me. He that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. When Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in spirit and testified and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Then the disciples looked one on another, doubting of whom he spake. Now, there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples, whom Jesus loved, Simon Peter. Therefore, back into him that he should ask who it should be of whom he spake. He then, lying on Jesus' breast, said unto him, Lord, who is it? And Jesus answered, He it is to whom I shall give a sup when I have dipped it, and when he have dipped the sup, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. After the sup, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, That thou doest do quickly. Now no man at the table knew for what intent he spake this unto him. For some of them thought, because Judas had the bag, that Jesus had said unto him, Buy those things that we have need of against the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. He then, having received the sup, went immediately out, and it was night. Therefore, when he was gone out, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God be glorified in him, God shall also glorify him in himself, and shall straightway glorify him. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. Ye shall seek me, and as I said unto the Jews, Whither I go, ye cannot come, so now I say unto you. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, whither goest thou? Jesus answered him, Whither I go, thou cannot, canst, let me try this, Whither I go, thou canst not follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterwards. Peter said unto him, Lord, why can't I follow thee now? I will lay down my life for thy sake. And Jesus answered him, Wilt thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, The cock shall crow till thou hast denied me thrice. Chapter 14, the King James Bible Verse 1. Now, okay, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. And my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That were that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know the way ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can 
we know the way. And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. From henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. So let's say that again. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. From henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Apparently, Jesus is God. saying he's, he's God. Uh, Philip sa saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. And Jesus said unto him, I have been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you I speak not of myself, but of the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Which is a pretty profound statement, because that's pretty much what he's saying. He's saying God was in him. Right? The Father. Believe me that I am the fa uh, that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. <clears throat> now remember, he's talking to his disciples; he's not talking to you. Whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, uh, that the Father may glorif that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfort comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no longer, no more, excuse me, so let's try this again. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall love shall be loved by my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Judas said unto him, not a scared, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and will come unto him, and make your, our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things I have spoken unto you, being yet present with you. The Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not 
as the world giveth, I give unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father. For my Father is greater than I. And now I have told and now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it come to pass ye might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do arise. Let us go hence. Chapter 15 of John, the King James Bible. I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he, pur he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as branch, and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so I have loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, and ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and, and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that ye may, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be fulfilled. Be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for servants knoweth not what the Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. <clears throat> if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember, the word is that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If ye have, per if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. 
If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, excuse me, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated me and my father. But this cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without cause. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you, his disciples, at that time, from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. Chapter 16 of uh, the book of John, uh, the King James Bible. Continue with Jesus' uh, words. These things, words to his disciples, by the way. These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. In, yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. These things, and these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of them. These things I said not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. But now I go my way to him that sent me. And none of you asketh me, Whither goest thou? But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come... He will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment, of sin because they believe not on me, of righteousness because I go to my Father and ye see me no more, of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he, he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore I said, therefore said I, that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. Then said some of the disciples among themselves, What is this that saith unto us? That he saith unto us? A little while, and ye shall see me. Ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, ye shall see me. And because I go to the Father. They said, therefore, what is this that he saith? A little while. We cannot tell what he saith. Now Jesus know, 
knew that they were desirous to ask him and said unto them, do ye inquire among yourselves of what I said a little while and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while and ye shall see me verily, verily say unto you that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice and ye shall be sorrowful but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A man, excuse me, a woman when she is in travail has sorrow because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of her, of the child, she re remembereth no more the anguish for joy that the man is born into the world. And ye now Therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing, verily be I sent to you. Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Hitherto have I asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. These things I have spoken unto you in Proverbs. But the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but shall show you plainly of the Father. At that day ye shall ask in my name, and I shall not unto you, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. I came forth from the Father and come into the world again. I leave the world and go to the Father. His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speaketh thou plainly, and speaketh no proverb. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things, and needest not that any man should ask thee. But this we believe, that thou cometh from God, forth from God. Jesus answered them, Do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, it is now come, that ye shall be scattered every man to his own, and shall leave me alone, and yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world." That's a good place to stop. So that was uh, the book of John, chapter 13 through 16. And uh, a lot of things to think about there. In particular, um, one of the things is try as much as one can not to put oneself into the story, but to have abiding faith or to come to at the conclusion, do you believe the words of Jesus or not? If you don't, then you're like most of the world. It takes a lot of work to come to that conclusion. It's easy to say it. It's another thing to say, you know what? Do I really believe what Jesus says or I don't? Do I really believe what the, the disciples said or, or do I not? Um, because the truth of the matter is, if you do believe what he says, then you're going to go contrary to everything in this world, including all what is called Christianity. Judah Christianity and every other uh, cult out there. So,
make 